During Black History Month, we're recognizing people making a difference in their communities. And today we focus on organizations helping local artists deal with the Bay Area's sky-high cost of living. Our very own Kenny Choi introduces us an artist from the Bayview area who's showing his community how to seize opportunities that are sometimes just steps away. Each stroke on canvas comes from intuition, imagination, an inner belief in himself. I always knew that I would be an artist. I always felt that I was an artist. Malik Sinefru taught himself to paint and sculpt with whatever supplies he could gather as a child. His award-winning work has traveled the world. Even when I didn't have the money, I'd, I'd say, okay, I'm going to take this canvas and travel mm -hmm. um, subconsciously to where I'd like to go. <laughs> Just a short walk away from his Hunter's Point shipyard right. studio, Malik often runs into childhood friends. They can laugh and smile, even when their shared past has been haunting in many ways. People uh, getting shot at, my friends getting uh, scarred for life right here in this area. You know, uh, this is actually the epicenter of a lot of, uh, a lot of strife and struggle, but also a lot of resilience. It's that reminder of resilience Malik shares when working at the Phoenix Project as a life coach mentoring underserved youth who are often not enrolled in school. We're talking about where it is that they actually want to go, how they want to go about getting there, not for the sake of disappearance, not the sake of um, escapism, but the idea of I can actually go where I say I want to go. The Shipyard Trust for the Arts has helped Malik secure a studio for years to explore and inspire as an artist. His community sees his artwork on buildings nearby. Where can we as African American artists be a part of the discussion so that then artists, all, all cultures abroad can come together in the city and do something great. His sculpture of a falcon landing on a wave at a nearby park captures his message. Surviving, staying alive, um, making good out of life, you know, allowing yourself to be carried. Uh, by your ideas that you want for your life and making that happen for yourself. The arts community gave Malik an opportunity. He's hoping his work and example can open more doors for others to follow. Well, be sure to join us tomorrow at 4 p.m. for our hour-long special, Black in the Bay. We'll be showcasing black history makers and trailblazers all across the region. You can also watch an encore on Saturday night at 7 p.m.